He's part kangaroo, part bird, and part fish. What does this winning equation make? I'm Kevin Mendez, I'm 12 years old, and I'm a diver. Florida-based Kevin has been making a big splash ever since jumping into the pool. With his high-sprung acrobatics and fearless attitude, this competitive diver is tearing it up. When I first started diving, I was five years old and I was just learning to swim. I didn't really know much about it, so I just saw people jumping off the boards and I just really wanted to go and try it. Right off the bat, I just started to love it and I just started diving. Pretty soon he wasn't just diving, he was also winning. I have won 14 national championships. Wow, that's a lot of medals. In fact, he's one of our 35 of them, which earned him a spot on the Junior National Dive Squad, where he continues to impress. Being on the Junior National Squad is a complete honor. It makes me feel really good about myself because it shows how much improvement I've made since being a five-year-old beginner to what I am now. And being on the National Squad, I've been to China, I've been on the Pan Am team. I love it. It's awesome. The bigger Kevin got, so did his dives. It's the closest thing you can get to flying, so it's really, really, really fun. It has, it's such a good feeling when you're up in the air and jumping really high. That is high. I would hate to do a belly flop from there. Do you ever get hurt? Yes, very many times. I've hit my head on the board, I've gotten in a concussion, I've broken my foot, I've dislocated my shoulder. I've done many hurtful things to my body. Ouch! Then why would you keep diving? What motivates me to get back on the board is my grandmother. My grandmother has Alzheimer's. She loves me diving, she loves seeing pictures, so I just wanted to keep her happy because you never know what's going to happen to her. That's very honorable, Kevin. My life gets sometimes very different from other kids. Kevin trains about 28 hours per week, and not all of it takes place in the pool. Different than what you thought, huh? I can have a very rugged and very difficult training schedule, or I can just be uh, resting and be going to school like any other normal kid. His training comes in handy as he often competes against kids older than him. Most of the time, uh, most of the divers look at me and they just kind of like overlook me because of my size, and I just beat like all people that are much older than me, and I really did not think I could do it. He sure seems like a natural. I wonder if there's anything in diving that's hard for him the mental um, aspect of diving because when you're up on the board and you're learning a new dive, you're always having those what if thoughts. What if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? And those thoughts are not very fun. Those aren't fun thoughts. How do you overcome them? You just don't think about it. You're right. Don't think what if you fall. Think what if you soar. Once you get there, you feel like you're flying. 